And now, BillyCBoxing.com presents Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down with Billy C. Here he is, Billy C. Uh, we're coming at you from the Billy C. Studio in Lake George in New York. I'm Bill Calagero, and it's time for today's Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down, being brought to you by BillyCBoxing.com. And uh, don't forget, man, if you're looking for your response to all your emails, we read them every single day. We got a uh, we call it the mailbag. We put all the emails or responses, no matter where you put them, uh, and we talk about them on the Talking Boxing with Billy C. Radio Show. So make sure you check that one out uh, wherever you're watching or listening to the show. All right, I got a couple of uh, thumbs up and a couple of thumbs down for today, uh, which is uh, June nineteenth in the year two thousand and twelve. Thumbs up goes to uh, Spike Lee for bringing Mike Tyson's one-man show to Broadway. That's right. It's going to run for a week, at least to start off, at the Long Acre Theater, beginning July 31st. Tickets are reasonable, $74.50. Uh, they start out at, and you can also buy a VIP ticket, which includes a meet-and-greet with Iron Mike himself for under 300 bucks. Hey, get yourself a ticket. Check this out. Uh, the reviews were great in Vegas, and I'm sure they're going to be uh, just as good in New York, tell him Billy C sent you and you want the Billy C discount. Iron Mike Tyson was one of my favorite fighters always, and I'm glad that uh, uh, he's doing, uh, doing this right now. And I'll and I tell you something, you know, we have one of those bits uh, on the Talking Boxing with Billy C show about, uh, you know, Mike Tyson being so fat. You know, he's so fat that, you know, he jumped into the ocean and left the ring around the continent. You know, he's so fat, he, you know, all those fat jokes. You know, the funny thing is, is he's under 200 pounds right now. He looks fantastic since he's been a vegan, so uh, since he's become a vegan. So check it out. Mike, Lee, Mike Tyson's one-man show, thanks to Spike Lee, coming to Broadway July 31st. I give a thumbs up. Believe it or not, wait till you hear who this thumbs up is for. This thumbs up is for Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's right. You know, no, I'm not complaining about him wanting his bottled water or his, uh, you know, gourmet foods or, or, you know, being such a girly man in, in jail. You know, he's trying to be a tough guy all the time. And, you know, realistically, he's a wimp. But uh, the bottom line is this. You know, I'm giving him a thumbs up. Why? For being the highest paid athlete. Hey, listen, the guy fought twice in 2011. And uh, he topped all athletes in the world by making $85 million for those two fights. That's a thumbs up for Floyd Mayweather, no matter whether you like him or not. You got to give him thumbs up. Now, who's number two? The anti-Floyd Mayweather. That's right, Manny Pacquiao. He made $62 million. Number three is Tiger Woods. Now, incidentally, Tiger Woods has been the number one guy since 2001. He drops to number three. Uh, with uh, a mere $59.4 million. Poor Tiger Woods. How can he survive on $59.4 million a year? That's terrible. Poor Tiger. I wonder how much his wife got for that. Uh, anyway. Uh, thumbs up. My last thumbs up goes to the UK Anti-Doping Agency. Man, talk about coming down hard on uh, a fighter who, uh, uh, you know, was proved. Uh, they proved that he used performance-enhancing drugs. Uh, the UK Anti-Doping Agency came down real hard on heavyweight Larry Alubamawo uh, after they found him guilty of using uh, performance-enhancing drugs. Not only did they ban him from boxing until 2016, but all of his fight results from January 1st, 2006 have been annulled. That means that they are looked upon now as not even taking place. Now, that's sending a message to the boxing world. Do not use PEDs. Thumbs up to the UK Anti-Doping Agency. All right, now it's time for thumbs down. Thumbs down. This hurts me to say this to this guy because, uh, you know, I, I, Timothy Bradley was, is one of my favorite guys. I always thought he was a class act in and out of the ring. But thumbs down today goes to Timothy Bradley for now, a little over a week uh, post uh, his bogus victory over Manny Pacquiao. He's starting to act like he dominated Manny Pacquiao. He's starting to believe his own press clippings. Uh, he's actually playing down Manny Pacquiao's ability in a speech during him receiving the key to his city the other day. Uh, when they asked him uh, if he thought a rematch would be made with Manny Pacquiao in November, he said it's unlikely. I think Manny Pacquiao will choose to fight Juan Manuel Marquez for a fourth time rather than fight me. And for the record, Marquez will win. Come on, Timmy. You know, would you go back to yourself? That's what we loved you for. Don't don't turn into somebody you're not. And trust me, you should just take this title, be quiet, be happy with your five million, and look forward to making another big payday when you fight Manny again. I would be laying low if I'm you, Timothy Bradley. Thumbs down 
for the new Timothy Bradley's attitude. Thumbs down for a U.S. run boxing commission. Come on, U.S. government run boxing commission. They're going to clean up boxing? Please. Come on, man. Talk about corruption for a government who acts based on on party demands okay we have a government here in the united states that you know they go by what their party tells them to do they don't look for the benefit of the people they look for the benefit of the party and oh by the way you have these parties that get uh financed through donations and if you don't think that that dictates how they vote and what they what they want to happen and what they don't want to happen then you're being pretty naive you know and if you have any questions about the united states government just send them all don't send them to me Send them to Alex Papali because he's our governmental expert here on the Talking Boxing with Billy C. Show. But all I can say is this. If our government can't run itself, how the hell is it going to police boxing? Thumbs down to anybody that thinks that the government can actually help boxing. The only way we can help boxing is to get rid of uh, these sanctioning bodies. If we need the government to do that, just to get rid of them, to dissolve them once and for all, maybe that's it. If you had one championship... Uh, and you had, uh, you know, one champion for every single weight class, I think a lot of this BS would go away. Uh, but right now, with the sanctioning bodies and the way the promoters work, and now obviously with the question of the integrity of judging and officiating and all of that stuff, uh, listen, I don't know if the government is the answer, but we do need something. So thumbs down uh, to the uh, government people that think a government could run boxing. Hey, man, that concludes our thumbs up, thumbs down for today, uh, June 19th. Make sure you look into tomorrow. We'll be here. Ciao, baby.